Hello and thank you for joining me uh, in today's video series um, installing and configuring IBM Lotus Traveler on IBM Lotus Domino on CentOS 6. This is uh, part, oh geez I've lost track of my numbers. When we, when we last left we had gotten our Domino, we had gotten our CentOS server, uh, our CentOS environment installed and operational. <coughs> we have um, uh, prepared it for installing Domino. We have successfully installed Domino and we've got Domino up and running. We've gotten the first issue uh, with the number of files ha file handles that has been resolved and now we're looking at the second issue. Um, close that, here we go. The second issue which is what this screenshot refers to but you'll also see it displayed here. All these uh, listener tasks, they're suspending, they're suspending, they're suspending, they're suspending. It's a problem with our SMTP server that's built into Domino and um, if you come here and you do your you know hey go Google it use a noun as a verb if we we, we come here and we we Google um, oh I don't know let's say Domino uh, what was the error again exactly uh, uh, Domino error bind sock uh, helper application is missing. There we go. That looks good. Domino bind sock. Helper application is missing. IBM and okay, look, we've got some some wonderful things. And guess what? Um, this one will tell us some wonderful information that for OS at least is useless. And as will this one. And as will uh, pretty much all of them. Um, as will come come down through the list. But none of them address what the, or explain what the problem is. And they all give you some wonderfully interesting and complicated solutions like this one tells us to go uh, take ownership of some files and do some mod stuff. Okay, well, we've got that. Uh, this one comes in, tells us to, to, to root the bind sock. Um, some of these come in and tell us to do other things, uh, suspending a listener task, all kinds of wonderful things. It's, it's, it's not that complicated. The solution is, is ridiculously simple. You just have to do a little bit of thinking and have a little bit of knowledge. And let me see if I can help you with that. The problem is our SMTP server right here is failing. And it's failing on port number 25, which is the default port. And the error is the address is already in use. And what that means is on CentOS Linux installations, and actually on a lot of Linux installations, but by default, particularly in this, in, in this case on the CentOS, Linux installation, the default SMTP service is installed and running, and that service is sitting on port number 25, which is where it's supposed to be, and it's it's using this port and blocking our Domino server from being able to use it. So rather than go and take ownership and try to create recreate a bind sock, and rather than do any of that stuff, the really simple solution is to simply go uh, find that service and shut it down and tell it not to run anymore. It's really all that all that simple. It's not any more complicated than that. So we're going to fire up our service configurations. Um, and again, I got here by going to System Administration Services. It's really that simple. And here we go. Here's our services stuff. And we're going to come down here and look for SMTP. And look, there is no SMTP. Ha ha. But there is a thing called Post Fix. That's the guy that's killing us because Postfix is their default mail transport agent. So what we're going to do is just to make life easy so it never bothers us again, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to disable that right now. Now because I'm currently signed in as the notes user, I have to sign in as, um, or I have to provide the password for the root because this is a root privilege. And now I've authenticated. This task is now disabled, and this task is stopped because the service is still running. So now I've stopped it, and I've disabled it from ever starting again. And I'm going to go ahead and close this service configurator because I'm happy. And I'm going to come and take a look. And this suspending listen task for 20 seconds due to network error. Let's see if I even need to bother restarting the Domino server. I'll bet I don't. In fact, that was at 8.28.13. You know what, let's do this. Show tasks. 
Look at that. SMTP seems to be running. I have no problem. But just to be cool, let's uh, let's restart it just to see what happens. Let's see if she'll shut down and come back happily. I'm going to pause this because we don't need to watch this thing do its thing. We'll just pause. And the server is restarting. Here it comes. Uh, the router, mail transport, router is started. Yay. Boom, boom, boom. But are we going to get SMTP? Oh, wait. SMTP already started up there. And POP3 started. And it looks like it's running. Yay. Okay, let's do uh, Access P command manager is initialized. HTTP server started. Oh, I'm I'm happy. I'm really happy. Let's uh, let's very quickly fire up a browser. Actually, we'll do that in just a moment. Let's let's do this. I want to go ahead and quit. And we're going to kill the server. See these two screenshots? I no longer need them. I'm going to make them go away because I like to have kind of a clean environment. We're going to let this uh, shut down and restart, or we're going to let it shut down entirely. I'm not make, doing any magic changes in the background or anything while I'm shutting this down. I just want to get it off, and I'm going to go ahead and, and choose System, and I'm going to shut down this... Oh, wait, hang on. Cancel. Let's empty my trash. Just because I really like having a nice, clean environment. So now we're going to shut down this system, shut it down entirely. And here it comes. Okay, I'm going to log in as notes. Let's type in notes. And here it is. Let's fire up the Domino server. Again, i got to type in notes. Okay, Colonel Max has been said, blah, 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 blah. Life is good. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. We've got our Domino server up and running. Um, let's go ahead and fire up a browser, just really quickly. And let's go to, what happens if I go to localhost? Firefox is currently offline mode and can't browse the web. What do you mean? Oh, remember I pointed this out? There we go, I'll turn the network back on, close this. <coughs> HTTP server is started. Okay, there. Firefox is back up. Now what happens if I type in localhost? Ooh, look at that! We got a web server up and running. I'm happy. That's local. I'm I'm really not oh, life is good. This is a good thing. We're very, very excited about this. Uh, please join me on the next series where we will actually uh, do the Traveler installation, or the next series, the next video in this series, where we will actually uh, get our IBM Lotus uh, Traveler installed on top of this Domino server, get that up and running. Uh, thank you again for joining me. I'm Devin Olson.